Right, so Marky 600. 612, 18. So we're going to run today full boards. And then we'll put PC underneath back. So what you need to do is make sure on every 600 line, we've got a batten across. And then we want one in the centre and then one on the end. So wherever you 600 is, we're going to need three battens for each. Because if you don't, with this, it could push in because we're on the limit of what you're supposed to be using it at. There's supposed to be no less than, uh, no bigger than 600. Even 600, even 600 is too big for this really. So, just put three in, it'll stop the bounce, stop the floor bouncing, jobs are good then. So I've just battened this floor out, because <coughs> we're tiling it, and it didn't have no battens in it, we've just battened it out. I've just used the wood what I already had. So don't think everybody does this because of what, I've just used it, I've gone overboard with it. I've battened them, I've only been able to screw them into Joyce A, so I've put a 3v2 underneath it and then screwed that to the floor so it can't drop. Um, so there's no bounce in it. I'm doing the, the most I can do possible for this floor to be right for me tiling. That's all you can do. And then if it cracks, it cracks. Do you know what I mean? You've done your best. Can't do any more than rebuild the house. But it should be fine. Might crack in the corners, but you silicone them. And um, that's it. All the all the plumbing now I'm gonna take up here and it's gonna be all on the back here. So you'll always be able to get to it. Bish bash boss, can you see how this is changing colour now? It's all that gear what I put on it. We've done three coats, soaked it in it nicely. You've got to make sure it's dry before you put the boards on. It takes about 30 minutes. 40 minutes to dry each each coat. So while it's been drying, we've just been doing other stuff like the eating and um, just putting battens in, just wasting my time really. But um, it'll make a better job. And while I've got it out, I'm gonna do the waste. I'm gonna take that waste out. I'm gonna redo it in solvent well so it can't drop. And it's nice and cozy. So we'll pop bath waste up here, pop sink waste up there. Pop some water and colds up, and that's it. Job's a good one. Fish Bash Bosch, MJC, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. So, what I've had to do is chamfer that ceiling out a bit to get my new waste pipe in. That there plug, I ain't got a rubber for that, so I'm going to block that off. So, I need to get another boss in for the sink. Now, ideally, I want it there, but you can't get a boss in there. So, there's room there at back there, but I can't get it in. So it's got that lug on it, so cut the lug off. Yeah. If you're struggling, you can cut that off and it'll still clamp up. It makes a big difference to try and get it down back of there. We'll pull them cables out, get his boss in, and then we'll straight up, cap that all up. Because it's all old antique pipe that. I ain't got no fittings for it. Then we'll get his bath waste in there, bring his bath waste down to here. Unless I've got a reducer, I might put, um, use my little snap-ons. Beautiful, look at that, beautiful. Then we're gonna get in, move all them cables out of his way. On a, on a little slant like that, cat's nad slant. Try and never push that in because sometimes if your truck's loose, that'll go and then see you later, 80 quid down drain. Pop it off like that. Look at that. Impressed with them, aren't you? Impressed? Huh? Like clean East would do with that. Saved really hours trying to get them off. Beautiful. I think it needs a bit of a uh, grease. Lovely. Now we've got the boss, clean that all up, glue it. So what you want to do, get plenty, plenty of glue on. Don't worry about glue getting all over on this because once it's in, you're never going to get to it. Plenty of glue, get it jammed in there again.
after you've filed it off, use your file as a little tool. Beautiful. See that? Get it on. Get behind. And did you hear it clip? Clip it in. Stick it fast. Beautiful. Just give it a couple of seconds. And then you can even put your finger through and test it. And just let it dry now before we put anything in it. Yeah. So when we're doing these and you're pushing these bosses in, they have like a lip of rubber which goes over that and you don't want that. So just chamfer it round. Chamfer it round and then a bit of lubrication on that and that'll push straight into that joint there. And then, if you want, because it's underneath the floor, use some wet tape round it. And you know for the fact it'll never pull out and never move. I've got a bigger roll there. I use this, I love this stuff. It's for wet rooms, but it has many uses. So I use it all the time. Handy tip for you that. So while we've been waiting for this floor to dry, because this needs to be dry before you do all. And it's dry, can you hear how it's nice? Sounding wood, not holler. If it sounds holler, that means it's rotten. You'd have to cut it out. So we've seen it three times. Put all my waste in. Got a new waste in for the um, sink. Cap the old waste off. New waste in for the bath, which I'm gonna bring up there. Hot, cold for the bath, which I'm gonna bring up there. That's the old hot from downstairs. We're keeping that, that'll be underneath the bath. That'll get connected into the sink. That'll get connected into the bath and then it'll get linked back up. I've left it like that so I can get all my boards in. No problem. About cutting it, now we're going to put the floor in. And then I'll show you step by step how we're doing that. Right, so now we've got it to a stage. All these joists are dry now from that um, gear. But you can see all the staining on the ceiling from where it's all been leaking. Very lucky that these joists aren't damaged. Very lucky. And you know that they're not damaged. Just hit them. Beautiful. But we've sealed it. We've took it all up. We've braced it. Now we're going to put these floors, this floor down. So when we're doing this, I like to form them buttons there. Plenty on because I won't screw this. I'm going to screw onto the joists. I've marked all my joists, and then I glue this part. And then when you screw them down, that'll pull it onto it. So we backed it all out, spread it all, and I'm using a. Uh, PU 700 sticks like no tomorrow this stuff like no tomorrow I always put my balls down this way so I can get my lip on it and struggle there make sure you get some on that one don't forget that one always wasting in everything slow it down like that jobs are good then. now I'm going to screw it in what you got to remember is, there's some pipe work. So, whatever your pipe work is, just lift your board up, check it. Stay away from there. Stay away from there, it comes good and so we know a joist is there, we know a joist is there, we know a joist is there, and we know a joist is there. So I'm going to screw that down, screw this down to the centre, and I'm going to put my other board on, other board on first, and we're going to glue that, I'll show you now. I've done it again, formed all my, formed all my fingers, that's with adhesive, but before I slide it in, that's what this stuff's good for, there's plenty in there, and 
then this is why I always put the bigger lip on the bottom so I can get it in. I could do with the cat's nads. I just need to notch that out a little bit so I can move that forward. But you've got time, you've got about 10 minutes before it start, really starts getting sticky, this stuff. And then it won't move. Once you get your board in there and you get it nice and tight there, don't try to put a screw in there because you'll push this board out. Always start in centre. <laughs> Make sure you counter sink them. Otherwise, whatever you put down won't be no good. These are a nice big end on them. So there's no problem. I keep snapping my drill bit because I ain't got right bit in. Next! So do that, then screw them in and it won't push board away and then do the exact same for the other one and you just repeat that straight across this floor will be beautiful beautiful and there we go new floor pipe work out there waste out there radiator pipes in all being firmed all that firm will just cut off in the morning just fills all in the gaps up nice and neat Be able to dance on this floor now.